Today, I'm going to show you how to find enchanted trees super quickly so that you can farm this right here, the flow infused wood. You're going to be needing a lot of this later in the game. And you can start doing this as soon as you reach an iron axe. I'm using an exquisite axe because it's just slightly easier. But what you're going to do is you're going to come to Bahari Bay here and uh, you're going to go uh, from Kilma Village, travel northeast until you pass over this wall. Just cross the bridge here and uh, be on the other side of the wall. Or you can take the Bahari Central Stables fast travel point, whichever works. And what we're going to do is we're just going to follow the road north up to right here. And uh, we're just going north and then slightly east. You can also, you know, take a detour west if you want and look around a bit. And uh, there are more trees in this area on the north than anywhere else. Now, I recommend doing this early at in the morning or late at night because uh, the glowing trees will be much, much easier to see. And all you're going to do is pan your camera around as you follow this road and you will almost always get one to two enchanted trees. Now granted, if they are of the taller and thicker variety, you can't solo them unfortunately. But uh, most of the time you can find at least one or two skinny ones that you can cut, cut down by yourself. And there's plenty of other things you can grab along the way if you choose to farm them. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to... Uh, follow the road here and we're just panning around you can see there are so many trees uh, and the way the trees work by the way and there's one right now it might be a little too thick though the way it works is oh we got uh, a couple people I'm, I might be able to get into it here we go three people on, on a tree and there's a lot of people doing this farm so uh, you might get lucky like I did there now having a friend you're only getting one extra drop so I got three logs there but for the solo trees you'll get two and uh, so we're just, again, painting our camera left and to the right. And, and this run is very, very quick. I got lucky that some other people were kind of on the same trail as me. But uh, again, lots of people are doing this. This is currently the meta to get the enchanted trees. So you're bound to find other people also doing this. Especially if you share this video around. You know, <laughs> not trying to incentivize you or anything. And I am way off course. And that's okay. If you get off course, that's fine. As long as you just scout the northern part, you know, beyond the wall. There's one more trick that I'm going to show you in just a bit, though, once we get to our little end destination. And uh, what we're going to do is zone into a different server so that it resets, uh, you know, the tree spawns and we get a new map to, to explore every single time. And there are thousands of servers to explore. So, again, we're still just looking. We're just panning the camera around, looking for any kind of glow in the distance. It's... It's a little bit brighter now because it's starting to get morning and daytime, but uh, at night you can see these across the map and uh, they are very bright in the darkness for sure. Let's see now. Well, we just had that one, which is actually kind of an unlucky break, but you know, those guys were running around chopping them, so, so on this server they might have already farmed them. That's probably what happened. They beat me to the punch. But uh, once we get to this little part here, this is kind of like the mineshaft area, which is kind of right up here. Uh, that's when we're just going to simply exit the game, and the screen will be black for just a sec. I'm relaunching the game right now. It'll only take a second. And uh, get to that title screen. And there we go. Log back in, hit play. This is going to throw us in an entirely new server with different people, a different randomly spawned map, and so on and so forth. And all we're going to do now, because we're going to spawn at that, you know, northern part of the side of the map, we're just going to uh, travel south and do the same thing on the way back. And that's all there is to it. It's really, really simple. You can also, you know, farm the animals along the way if you want to. There's plenty of stuff to pick up. Uh, you know, lots of good stuff on this side of the map. But if all, you're, if all you care about is the wood, then it's no big deal. If you want to know how much wood this is per hour, it's 100. All right, I did one little run before filming, and I managed to get seven, and then I got, th or no, it was eight, and and then, um, so that was four trees, and then I got three from that one group that I just showed a bit ago, and so that makes 11, and so again, we're just going to travel south towards the wall, and you can see the wall in the distance, so you know you're going the right direction, and uh, you can also, again, you could also take, you know, uh, alternate paths around, but... You know, this run, I didn't really, we didn't really see one, but I kind of beelined it for the wall also. And uh, you're just 
running around and looking at the trees, and it's a little bit harder to see it now because, again, daytime, but let's see. So no trees on that short one, but remember, we do, all we did was go from here to there. We didn't go all around this little area, which you totally can do, but I generally don't because this one has the sight line for more trees. Again, we're going to reopen the game now and um, <laughs> do it once more just to show you. You can. I'm going to I'm going to show you if you don't know how to do it. Hold on, let me. It's hard to talk and type at the same time. So, if you don't know how to solo the trees, there is a trick. It's called animation canceling. I have an entire video on my channel dedicated to all the different animation cancels you can do in this game. There's some really sick ones uh, that turns bow hunting into like a quake arena match. I'm not kidding. You can bunny hop around without stopping moving. You can loot things without having that weird animation where you stop and put stuff in your pocket. So you can move while shooting, while looting, all at the same time without, uh, again, stopping. So uh, once again, new map. Now I want to mention that these trees have a higher chance to spawn as enchanted, whereas these types of trees don't. So you want to avoid areas with those trees. There's an enchanted tree over there, but it is a big one. So we can't farm that solo. Uh, I could, uh, if I there's any players nearby, I can, you know, signal for them, point at the tree, swing my axe. They get the idea. It's pretty easy to communicate. I wish this game had local chat and speech bubbles. That would really, really help the social aspect. And uh, it would be really nice if they had voice IP too, but that's dreaming. A lot of game companies are afraid of voice IP. But anyway, we're just gonna, you know, again, we're just panning the camera. And I'm just jumping because I like to keep high. I see a glowing tree in the distance. There it is. And uh, that one might be skinny enough to solo. We, we gotta go give it a few taps. There's one right there too. So already we've seen three, but I don't think this one is going to work. No, this one, these are too thick. We gotta find the ones that kind of look like Christmas trees. Which, uh, again, they're, they're all over the place. And look, there's two more in the distance there. We got, a, we got a good map this time. We've already found five enchanted trees. We just gotta find the right size. And if you think, oh, well, if you go to the first map, you could find, like, this one, absolutely, we can do it. So let me show you what I'm doing. What I'm, what I'm, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna let the tree heal. Now, this is just holding left click, and you can still do it with the exquisite axe. It just takes longer. See how I'm barely making any progress, but I am making progress. Here's the real way to do it, the animation canceling. As soon as you see the sparks fly, you let go, or you don't hold the left click at all. Once the sparks fly, you, uh, you push left click again. And we got a partner. Oh, hey, where's she going? Where's she going? Is she just chopping regular trees? No, come on. There's an enchanted one over here. Well, whatever. I don't feel like having to play uh, uh, <laughs> pantomiming to uh, try to communicate that there's a tree over here. Anyway, we've reached uh, the mine shaft once again. And, you know, I could go take, you know, just look down this road a bit. Since that person was also maybe running this direction. Or I can just end the video. You get the idea. There's nothing left to teach you. Go out there, get you some enchanted trees. This is the way to do it. And you're again, you're going to need a lot of these. Like, go farm you up like a couple stacks and then you'll be set for a long time. You won't have to worry about it. Just knock it out, get it done, and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I actually have no life, no social life at all. So I read every single comment. So feel free to leave a question in the comments and I'll gladly help you out. Lots of videos to come, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And with that said, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you don't click that video, then you'll never find an enchanted tree. So you better click it.